generally, I think it's going to be interesting to watch. I'm interested to hear what both individuals have to say. Um, I haven't swayed who I'm going to vote for, but I still want to hear what all parties have to say, though. I'm just very, really excited to hear what Kamala Harris has to say. Um, I'm very excited to vote for her. Uh, and one of the biggest things I'll just be looking to hear from her is what, um, just sort of like what she's gonna do about what's going on in Gaza. That's, that's probably like the biggest thing right now that I wanna hear from her. And I just, I have all the faith in her that she's gonna be able to handle Trump's antics. I, I think we're all tired of his show and I'm ready to be done with it. And especially Trump, I've, I've seen in the Oval Office, and I don't want him back. But for an entertainment perspective, it makes for a more entertaining debate when when he's uh, you know allowed to run his mouth off as much as possible. Um, well, I'm so excited for the debate in Philly. This is my where I live and work, so I love it so much. Um, and it's split 50-50. This debate is really tight. And they're both very strong candidates, but I am so over like the nastiness of like Trump and everything. We ju I'm just looking forward to Harris's view on um, creating more peace. Um, I'm a victim of gun violence, so I stand for all what she has to say on that topic of gun violence and violence in general. We'll see. We'll see how she holds her own. I, I wasn't like super impressed with her in 2020 when uh, she had the presidential debates and the, for the primary. Um, but she is a prosecutor. She's definitely, I think she'll be able to hold her own better than Biden was able to at his age. So we'll see. But uh, I, I think she'll do OK. We have a Republican Party that's put up a, an attempted coupist. Uh, we have a Democratic Party that had a, that currently has a, a president that has no ability to form a coherent thought, um, and, and and that that's what we're talking about for a debate entertainment. That that's where we are as a country, in, in my opinion. I think Kamala should be genuine in the way she responded, similar to the last. Um, Tour she did when somebody in the crowd started being disruptive and she kind of gave him that that strong mother look i think she's going to give that Prostate. same energy yeah or so i'm hoping that she <laughs> doesn't feel swayed that kamala has a little bit more demeanor and stern approach and i'm sure she's going to be able to kind of sway that with no problem so um i think this is very um exciting and nerve-wracking and there's a lot of tension in this country so um i just can't wait for um this to debate to help um, American citizens decide on who to vote for. Who are we voting for this year? <laughs> what? <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> exactly. All right. You know, you're in Trump land. Everything goes. As, you know, within, we're not so tight, you know, and when we don't get offended easily.
No, we don't, because we don't, ex we don't expect you to offend us. That's why. Number 58 is your number, ma'am. Well, our menu does include a, a Trump burger and a Trump tower and a first lady chicken sandwich. But the, uh, the item that catches everybody's eyes is the Biden burger and it's for one ounce for $50, but nobody buys it. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna kill her. Cause again, they don't have any answers for anything. They all they want to talk about is saving inflation and everything else that they they've already caused, and they won't take responsibility for what they caused. Um, she can't. She can't debate without a teleprompter. So I think it's gonna be a landslide. I'm excited. I think he's going to do marvelous, just like he always does. And um, as long as the cards aren't stacked against him, I think he'll win the debate easy. Yes, I'll be watching the debate, and uh, what I expect out of Trump is uh, basically what he's been doing uh, for free, free America. I need uh, my gas prices back down, what I call normal, but they're awful high now. We need to stop all the illegals at the border. It's crazy. Way too many people coming in this country. We don't even know who they are. I think he's going to be able to put her in her place. That's it. He's going to put her in her place and remind her of who she is, where she came from, how she climbed the ladder, which we all know. Well, not all of us, but I know. I've heard. William what can I get you? We're going to share the Trump burger. We're going to share the Trump burger. I'm going to cut it in half. Oh, that means just me and her, but yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll have that. The Trump burger all the way? Okay, drinks. Is it really good? Like it is good. Be 3067. Well, thank you very much. We do get every once in a while prank calls, but you know, they're nothing to mention. Uh, but uh, no, we never get any, we don't have any issues or any problems with anybody. People that over here are very nice people, receptive. Can I? Just one second, sir. I think it's awesome. I, I, here's the problem. Everybody has become too apolitical and they're scared to talk about what they believe in, what their values are in. And I think a business promoting their person, if you don't like it, don't stop here. Oh yeah, it's good. Huh? Chicken tenders are hot, so. Make sure you vote. Yes, sir. Hey, you know, can we yeah, get, guy. Um, 
Trump Tower. Please. Trump Tower. And a Trump Burger. Please. And a Trump Burger. Everybody, everybody that you know needs to vote. Young ones before older. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. Well, that is a benefit of, you know, having the Trump name, you know, that we can sell some uh, merchandise and we're doing pretty good with it as well.